Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning from Thaka, Bangladesh. Today we're going to be reviewing the two remaining fragrances from Stevens Fragrance House, Navitus Perfumes, from this sample set, uh, which uh, was sent to me all the way from States to Bangladesh. And I feel privileged and honored to be doing these reviews and receiving them, trying them. It's actually like uh, one of the biggest moments in my fragrance journey. So thank you, Steven, once again for this beautiful courtesy and this fragrance review is dedicated to you. Uh, last but not least episode okay so i plan to do two fragrances in one episode um hopefully it will be beneficial for you guys okay so they do have this beautiful sample set which they offer in three emeralds per perfume okay and you open it here from here it has this magnet down there very nice and all the samples and the names are written very very nice touch very professional um and then it does look like jubilation 25 by amouage design I really like it, very up class, very solid, and they put all the notes and all that behind. So seven times three ml, so 21 ml of juice in there. Um, so I did review all five of them before, the rest of them five, and I think Steven already announced that he is going to release some more, okay? So do check out, I'll put the links below of the fragrance, you can check out their fragrances on the website, and perhaps you should order, my suggestion is always order the kit, you know, like sample set or the what you call discovery set uh, for you to decide which ones you like because it's gonna be more practical always you know do not blind by fragrances in general I'll tell you um, second thing I want to say that even though these fragrances I did not have to pay for it I just had to pay the courier here but I'm gonna keep my reviews to myself so it's not gonna really affect the judgment on the fragrance or influence okay as usual that's what I do so let's go uh, and let's finish this uh, reviews Okay, first of all, let's look at Virtues, Virtues or Virtues, which has been on the paper and I've written down what it reminds me of. And this is the sample, uh, like a sprayer, it comes with sprayer, thank you so much. The rollerball or a splasher as good, but I think the sprayer gives that purpose and it serves the purpose. It does come with a cap, so very nice already. Um, and even it shows where the sprayer is in the direction, very, very nice touch. So 3ml is a really generous sample for uh, testing a perfume you need only 2 ml or 1.5 ml a 3 ml is really really good you can use it for a scent of the day as well so this perfume uh, I'm not gonna look at the nose breakdown I'll put the links you can check but this fragrance I'll just tell you straight up what it reminds me of it reminds me of Mancera's red tobacco I'm not gonna call this a clone or something I'm just gonna let you know what I feel I'll let you know if it's worth and uh, side by side with Red tobacco. Red tobacco is a fragrance. It has some fruity touch, dry fruits, very smoky tobacco, kind of like winter kind of a perfume, very nice bottle from Mansara. This is a little bit more expensive than the rest of the line in Bangladesh. So red tobacco gives me about beast mode performance and I only reach for it in the winter. It really like, it's literally like being next to a barbecue station where the smoke hits you and it's like a lot. If you put a few sprays of that, you'll be in trouble. So I also have this one from Alexandria, Hanya Fez sent me, uh, it was a gift from him again. Uh, look at the juice color, very nice. This is called Hafez 1984. This is more fruitier, less smoky version of red tobacco. Lasts a lifetime as well, but not as smoky. So these two fragrances, if you like, this is gonna be easy love. So uh, it's basically like a very fruity and Stevens perfume. This one is called again, sorry what, Virtues. This is very much less smoky and more fruits, um, kind of like you get the tobacco and you basically get what you get from the dry down of red tobacco minus the smokiness, okay? So this is something similar to Alexandria fragrance Hafiz 1984. Uh, I think Hafiz 1984 has a little bit of, um, I don't know, oud or something in it. It has a little bit of Arabian touch, which the uh, Stevens perfume, the Navitus perfumes do not have. So it does have a clean sort of a tobacco vibe very fruity very fruity you can smell detect the fruits uh, the fruits uh, maybe there's apple note in this I'm not quite sure what's in it but I'm detecting something like a warm sort of like think of Hugo Boss bottled you know like an apple from there so it has this warmth apple like warmth of the apple pie so very fruity very beautiful I think this is gonna be good for uh, cooler weathers nighttime um, but for the price it's going for um, 100 ml I think it goes for $195 let me show you the presentation I forgot to show you. Is you're gonna receive a box like this if you buy 100 ml, uh, and it's really really nice. This is for my other fragrance. Let me show you. Sorry, I'm a little bit messed up. <laughs> this is from Nabu's perfume. 
um, the fragrance is now loose. So when you open it, you're gonna get a box like this. It has all the detailing. You're gonna really like these. This looks like a book or a Bible. When you open it from the side, that's where you're gonna find your card of the fragrance, all the notes and all the detailing. And the thing is, this one, it will give you a nice sort of a velvety cushioning. Very looks very up class. So the bottle stays there, it looks very nice. So that's one thing about the presentation. And uh, let me show you the bottle you can get. The smaller bottle, I don't know if it has a smaller bottle, but 50 ml will perhaps be less. So this is the kind of bottle you're gonna get very heavy. And people say it reminds them of uh, Enigma or like uh, Elysium rather of Rojada perfume cologne bottles. I can see the resemblance definitely, but this is much heavier. The cap I really like, the crystal ball sort of effect on each cap, golden, metallic, very heavy. Um, the cap doesn't have uh, on these like uh, grip, okay? So it's not like a snug fit, so be careful picking them up. You might drop your bottle and break it. So spray on these are really, really good. I love uh, how it sprays. So the Navus is my one of my most favorites in this line, okay? So this kind of presentation in different coloration, I'll put the picture. So that's basically it and the smaller bottle if you have, if they have, I don't know, it'll look a little bit smaller compared to the big one. And then this is also gonna be like a similar sort of design, but just smaller. But the Oud collection he has, these 50 ml go for 195, so they're a little bit more pricey. So ultimately the Virtus 100 ml for 195 bucks, is it worth it? It's a nice smell, I definitely have to give it that. And I like red tobacco, but it's a familiar scent. So if I'm gonna uh, like uh, recommend this to you, I think I will say get red tobacco, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Red tobacco, it goes for $110 in Bangladesh, 120 ml juice. And it's also niche perfume, it gets a very nice bottle too. And I think it lasts a lifetime. So if you like smokiness, you can get it. If you like fruitiness, you can get for 65 bucks or less, you can get Alexandria's version, half is 1984. So that would be my recommendation. But uh, if you want to support Steven, if you want to really uh, support his journey, I think if you have the spare cash and it doesn't really bother you, you know, like you are gonna be proud owning his perfume line, definitely by all means, you should go for it. So this fragrance for uh, what it is, longevity is good, everything is solid, but uh, I'll give this like seven out of 10, okay? Because I like red tobacco and it came out, I think earlier. So that is uh, Virtues, first one. Second one we're gonna do, it's uh, again, <clears throat> one other thing. They're just so nice, you know, like every single fragrance, like they start from here and the thing is, you know like where you kept which one, you don't have to look at the labels. So names are there, just put accordingly, you'll find them easily. So it's kind of like a very nice coffin sort of thing, it's very soft in here. So really nice, their website <clears throat> and all that. So second one we're gonna look at, this is the ta and the name I struggle with, <laughs> Absolutio, okay, or Absolutio. I'm sorry, Steve, and my uh, pronunciation really sucks. So this is the fragrance, the dry down here. So this fragrance is very interesting, okay. This is uh, something, um, also reminds me of something else in niche world, but uh, not quite a clone, okay. This has familiar vibes. This smells uh, on the opening, let me spray this once again, just remind me for the opening. Okay, so this reminds me of the dry down, kind of like a Baccarat Rouge, the extra de Parfum or the extra version, not the EDP. The EDP is much more, um, how to say, um, it has that like candy floss, you know, like a cotton candy sort of a feel. Baccarat Rouge, this one, if you do not know. <clears throat> this one, Baccarat Rouge, this is the EDP. Okay, so this one and this perfume, Absolution has nothing in common in the opening. What I get from this is opening is kind of sweet. You know, it has, I think in the heart, some toffee notes, some sweet notes. I remember vaguely, um, give me a second, excuse me. Yeah, sorry about that, I need to clear my throat. Um, so the thing is, this fragrance for the opening one hour or so, if you smell it, you know, like if you sprayed it and you smell it, it you won't call this like, uh, it's similar to Baccarat Rouge. Baccarat Rouge is similar to, uh, there are a lot of fragrances out there and my absolute favorite is Instant Crush for the value. This one I haven't reached for some time, but this is one of the best Manseras I ever bought, beautiful bottle. So this I think is a great substitute for Baccarat Rouge, which is 70 mil for 200 something dollars. Um, it's a great fragrance, but out of my league, I mean out of my budget. So I use this heavily, very fresh, citrusy version of uh, Baccarat Rouge. So if you wanna get Baccarat Rouge clone, get that one. That one is definitely the quality 
on the shirt it stays three days but coming back to this i get kind of like a fruity citrusy opening it's kind of sweet it's very uh, lovable and it, it is handsome it's sexy kind of reminds me kind of like ultra male sort of vibe like a pineapple leaf uh, some fruits are there for sure but i'm not sure what it is so it does remind me of kind of like ultra male sort of opening but on the dry down it goes green if you can imagine a green baccarat rouge sort of a sweetness but much toned down sweetness okay so if you like baccarat rouge you will like the vibes of it but this is not a clone of baccarat rouge so i really like this fragrance uh, does it smell nice it smells very very nice it doesn't have any alcohol blast nothing synthetic cheap and this fragrance by the way are made in uh, middle eastern countries i think uae and they do come in um, like uh, perfume i think perfume extract or perfume concentration i think the highest uh, perfume concentration so performance on all of them more or less are good so this fragrance uh, it is not going to be totally uh, original smell if you smell it for the first time i think and I'm not going to give this like for uniqueness for 10 out of 10, but it does not smell of particularly any fragrance, kind of like ultra male sort of meets Baccarat Rouge and then they have the green baby. Okay, so <laughs> that's what I get. I really like it. I think it'll be good for dating, uh, something romantic setup, going out. I think this is a good fragrance, but $195, that's where people are going to have problems. Like I know that most people say um, they have problems with Steven. Okay, like. He said it's going to be all unique and he developed it. But later on you saw the bottles and then people are bashing him for being sort of like a doing fragrance knockoff bottles. Uh, but I, you know, like a lot of bottles look like a lot of things. It didn't, doesn't really bother me. Of course, I didn't have to pay for it. Perhaps easy for me to say, but uh, it's not a big deal. It depends on the juice quality and the fragrance, if it's worth it. That's what I focus on. So this particular perfume, I think $195 for 100 ml. Uh, if money is not an issue, you're not gonna feel anything. But most of the people who are on budget, they will think about it, you know. So that's why for you guys, Discovery Set is the way to go. You can experience them and buy the one that you really like, okay? So this fragrance, I think he may offer uh, discounts or something in, from time to time. You can use your code or something. You can get this under $100. I'm sorry if I'm speaking too much. I think that is gonna be a good perfume. If you can get this under, hundred bucks this fragrance is gonna be a nice fragrance to own but again uh, not um, I would say a clone of Baccarat Rouge I love Baccarat Rouge and uh, Instant Crush a lot more those are like 10 out of 10 this fragrance I'm giving still nonetheless solid 8 out of 10 good fragrance but the price could be a little bit better so I think everybody can afford it so that's my review and I'm done with this uh, line now check out all my reviews and see after getting a sample set which ones you like. Take care guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Good night from Thaka Bangladesh. Bye-bye.